That's that's how you feel. I, I'm not. I'm just scrolling. Um, scrolling my timeline, Hitman. I, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't want any intro. I didn't want nothing too 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 fancy today. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a cool Saturday. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm just scrolling. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing what you I'm seeing what you saying. And Hitman, holla. Salute to everything you got going on personally, professionally. You know what I'm saying? With all you do. For battle rap and for yourself and all that and all that. You said, uh, what you said, I'll tell you what you said. Hitman said, if y'all want the truth on this app, URL entire staff hasn't called me in a year to battle anybody. So stop acting like I've been turning down these average, average at best, or I'm scared of this easy ass pandemic era. I rap in my bathroom all the time. It is pretty easy. He said, niggas on Twitter talk so heavy, but nobody willing to bet, though. Hold no way. He said, uh, I haven't got on this app and talked back and forth with battle rappers in years. It was fun. But tell them bums play rock, paper, scissors to see who die. Every league on earth know how to contact me. Let's see how difficult this new setting will be. I'm out. Should I keep it going? Should, should I keep it going? This is the most Hitman Holler has talked in this pan, pandemic, panoramic era. Should I keep it going? I'll keep it going. Um, Geechee Gotti said, I like this talk. You from the show me state though, so you know you what you gotta do. Hopefully that stage get back so you can get around. Cause you know a lot of people have been saying the only way Hitman Kahala could win, could win a battle is with a crowd. He did good versus Bill Collector and there was really no crowd in there. But I'm gonna keep, go keep it going. I keep it going, I keep it going. He says, uh, I hope the stage get back so you can shut up. I watched you get 30 on a big stage. I flipped the coin. And it wasn't a body, but you got edged in all threes. Talking about the surf battle. Um, I wouldn't even put you in that 2,000 people type danger versus me. Wouldn't be fun or fair. Message. Message to the new era. Hitman Holla is a little different from the rest. Be careful out there. And he just went on and on and on and on and on. And on you know what I'm saying? Like just talking about uh, the new era. Because... What had happened was, you know, I know some of y'all out there ain't got Twitter. Some of y'all out there don't really be on social media like that. But you watch YouTube. What had happened was uh, the whole easy to block captain, top tier, top tier, been 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 buzzing. A lot of people then came out and spoke about it or spoke about the the song situation, you know. And uh, Hitman Holler pretty pretty much responded to this new era of battle rap because you know battle rap now. Is in the small rooms. It's not going nowhere because as long as COVID is a thing, you're not going to see any big stage battle rap. Like it's just not going to happen. The, the what we're used to, the Hammerstein ballrooms, the damn Irvin plazas, all of that is not happening no time soon. So while some people have said there have been certain artists who shied away from the small room because their music, I mean, their bars and their battles are predicated on, I said, yeah, <sighs> taking off their jacket, you know what I'm saying, and getting the crowd to get involved with their shit. People are trying to say, allude, as that is Hitman's thing, like he needs that. He needs to have a thousand people in back of him, you know what I'm saying, like, like cheering on. I said, yeah. But the, what people don't understand is, even with crowd reaction, there's good crowd reaction and there's bad crowd reaction. See, a lot of the new guys, they do have the right to talk how they talk because they're winning their battles. So since they're winning their battles, they can, you know, talk heavy and things like that. But a lot of them, most of them, damn near all of them have not been in front of a setting of a thousand people of getting booed. Or, you know, you dropping your first bar and the cold crowd is just sitting there looking at you. Or dealing with the star power that some of these guys got. And you'll see a lot of media who have been around for a while, either fans or involved with Battle Rap, are saying, yo, it's different. It's different when you've been in a building with a thousand people. When you've been in a building with 500 people, it's different. Rex, them shotgun shells is red and lime green. When I'm squeezed, it's like a Gucci crime scene. It's different. 
grown man bars or something they gotta deal with when the whole crowd. See, Rex is not Rex anymore. But that Rex, that battle verb in that era, the pack and the mag and back, that Rex was dominant in front of those big crowds. He proved himself. Like that's the reason why he said things like I got a battle rap lifespan, because he proved himself back in that era when you had to literally rap rap in front of 2,000 people. Hits. Boom. This is all this is all live, you know what I'm saying? That's that was somebody's spirit calling from the other side that had got bodied in one of those uh big rooms. But um so Hitman Holler's basically saying that he's not scared to rap in a small room in the pandemic era. And the thing is, a lot of the cats who's rappers, rappers that can actually rap, they're not scared of battling in a small room or the volumes or the caffeine settings. From what I be hearing a lot of the time, it's the money. It's the money, it's the money, it's the money. They don't want to get paid way less than they would normally get paid in a big room. So when you take away the big stage, the ticket sales, and you lower, 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 lower the value of the price, a lot of them are like, they don't want to do it, you know what I'm saying? But they're not they're not saying that they're scared. This don't mean that they're scared. This just means that a lot of them over the years know their value. But then when you tell a certain MC, yo, I'm not paying you 30,000, well, I'm not paying you 25,000 to battle in a small room versus a new guy, like easy to block captain, or they don't want to do that. They're like, no. So now you have the new guys being able to say you charge too much, you, you scared. So I see it on both sides, you know what I'm saying? I see it on both sides. Well, you got MCs, there are MCs that don't care. They're taking Danny Myers, don't matter. He's taking any of these new guys. JC, he's taking any of them. A Shotgun Sugar, he's taking any of them. Be Magic, even though he ain't gonna win, he's still, <laughs> my nigga Be Magic, man. I really wish, I really wish he would get back to what we know him for. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he's not gonna win. John John and Don, he would, I would see him doing it, but for the price that he wants. He's gotten to a point where in his career, he's waited so long to be popping, to be top tier. He's, he's catching up for the years that he was getting there. So I don't see him battling. That's why a lot of people be wanting to see him versus Ace I mean, I'm like, I don't think that's going to happen because from what I heard, this is just what I heard. Um, he wants his money, the amount of money that he wants, and they're not willing to pay him that because they don't believe in the investment. See, the thing is, the league could send you out there, the new artist, to you know build a buzz, get people going, you know, get the hype around you, but they gotta believe in you enough to put that money behind you. It took Jerry West almost fucking five years for them to get to put that money behind him. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they don't believe in you like that, you could get all the buzz you want. You could have all the bloggers talking about you, but if they're not willing to put that money behind you, you can forget it. So when it comes to Hitman Holla, uh, people was talking about what battles would you want to see him come back against. Um, and every time Hitman comes back, does it really equal a comeback? Because he battled, like, last year sometime. Then he was in a two-on-two. -two. So I don't really know if it's a comeback. But my short list would be Geechee, of course, Twerk, um, Dark Horse from the outside would be Briz, but I know him and Bri Briz is not really battling like that no more. So, Geechee, Twerk, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think those would kind of be where I'd be with it right now, and probably more so Geechee, because Geechee getting whoever he want. He's the first one that responded to um, Hitman in regards to this. So, it'd probably be him versus Geechee, because Geechee, they would invest in. Uh, I wouldn't say nobody that's too new because I know damn well they're not paying Hitman Hitman money for no rookie. Like, I just, I don't see that happening. Like, nah. Um, he been around for a minute. Easy's fire. Um, Real Sick is fire. Kid Chaos is fire. Luke Castro is fire. Swamp is dope, too. Um, I still want to see Swamp versus T-Top. T-Top battling everybody except Swamp. He's got Coffee Brown next. Nick. Why? Why? Yo, I don't know, but I got nothing on that, man. I guess, I guess we'll do some predictions sooner or later. But God damn, I'd rather see Swamp versus uh, versus Coffee versus uh, Swamp versus T Top. And but it's Kings and Queens, I get it. But Swamp, I mean T Top just battle easy to block captain. So I, I'm lost on that. But anyway, salute to Hitman Hollow. 
all that he's got going on, if he is going to come back, i definitely like to see it because we all, you know, a hitman get in there and start doing his thing. And he can rap in them small rooms. He battled Bill Collector in a small room. I used the Tommy to get the white like the Green Ranger. That was a fire ball. Come on now. Tommy, white, Green Ranger. I'm gone.